Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. Happy birthday. It is Scorpio season. It is my favorite time of year. I am very excited about doing these videos for you guys. I hope that your season is as wonderful as you guys are. So these will be general readings, and that means they will not resonate for every one of you. So please just take what resonates for you and leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please let me know in the comments down below. And if it doesn't, check out your other sign placements. Sometimes your moon, rising, or Venus sign will resonate with you more than your sun sign does. As always, information for scheduling a personal reading will be in the description box below. And guys, if you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you hit that notification bell, and when our monthlies, mid-monthlies, and weekly check-ins are uploaded, you will be notified, and you can come hang out with us. So, Archangels and guides, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding for my beautiful Scorpios for the month of November, please. May the messages that need to be heard the most come through, and may they please find those who need to hear them. Very clear messages with a very clear understanding for my beautiful Scorpios for the month of November, please. Very clear messages. This is your November monthly love reading, Scorpios. And I do weekly checks, and I also will do your, or your mid-month here in a week or so. Very clear messages with a very clear understanding, please, from my beautiful Scorpios. In love for the month of November. Very clear messages, please. From my beautiful Scorpios. Last shuffle, guys. All right. Let's see what we have for you. All right, Scorpios. Ooh. So, yeah, I do feel like there was an ending here. And I feel like you never got a lot of clarity about it. I really feel like there was just so much that you were unsure about, so much that you didn't understand. Like so many things left unsaid in this connection the overall energy the energy that is supporting this reading is the death card and the five of pentacles so i do feel like you know this person left and i feel like you don't really understand why or how they could or just why everything happened the way that it did between the two of you i do feel like you felt very abandoned by this person very hurt by them very betrayed by them I do feel like this person is somebody who is very distrusting um, and it could have been because of things that they were doing in their own life. Sometimes that is how that is. You know, when someone is being a liar, or cheater, they automatically assume everybody else has. Or it could just be very much, you know, that they've been through a lot and so they have, you know, were very distrusting. But whatever it is, it does feel a little bit like self-sabotage on your person's part um and just a very selfish kind of energy as well but whatever it was you know you tried to get yourself out of that five of pentacles energy scorpio you really tried to disconnect from it emotionally you try to hold your head up high and walk through and i feel like you did that for the most part not that it doesn't still hurt i think it does and I think that's why that energy is still supporting the reading. You know, when someone hurts us that deeply, it still hurts. But I do feel like you picked yourself up off the ground. You lifted your head up high and you walked. You walked away. You disconnected emotionally. You stopped fighting. You stopped asking yourself why everything happened the way it did. 
you stop needing the answers that you once did. Here we are, a full card. This is your energy now. And I'm really drawn to all the butterflies. This is all about transformation. Scorpio, I really feel like this ending was a huge catalyst for you. I think this was the catalyst that showed you your strength. This is the catalyst, you know, for this massive transformation. I feel like that you have been in, but it's like gaining momentum. You're still in this. You're still transforming by the day into this strong, magnificent, independent creature. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful. The fool, a person who is strong, a person who's not afraid, the person who has faith in themselves and faith in their dreams and is ready to see where that takes them. And that's where you're, the energy that you're in right now, and it's just beautiful. I don't know whether it's... Um, your goals, your dreams, you could have a business, you could have things you want to accomplish, but whatever it is, it could be a relationship, it could be your forever love, your forever home, whatever it is, it's going to resonate differently for everyone out there, Scorpios, but in your mind, that's what you're focused on. You're like, I know that I can make my dreams come true. Look at everything that I've overcome. Look at everything that I've been through and look at me standing strong, standing tall. All the cards here that are like depicting you and where you are right now. They're just so beautiful. Strong, beautiful, fiercely independent women. Look at how beautiful they are. Look how strong they are. And this is you. This is like, okay, I've walked away. She, she, she turned her back. She disconnected. She walked away from the hurt, from the pain, from the self-pity. She transformed here with the butterfly. She transformed and now she's standing there just awaiting for everything that's rightfully hers. Everything that she's been worked on. Everything that she wants. All her goals. All her dreams. That's what's surrounding her. It's just such a beautiful energy, Scorpio. I am so incredibly proud of you. And even in your heart, you have the Nine of Swords in reverse. This is you no longer feeling captive by your thoughts. This is you no longer letting anything hold you back including your own thoughts. This is you like, okay, I know that I've been hurt in the past. I know that what this person did to me was painful. I know that what lots of people have done to me is painful. I know that I've been through a lot, but I'm no longer willing to be a captive to that. I'm no longer willing to let that be my story. I'm not going to be that girl that got left, that girl that got her heart broken, that girl that has had a series of failed connections a girl who's failed at her dreams i'm not going to be that person or that boy or whatever it's gender doesn't really matter and it's i'm no longer going to be that person i am not letting anything holding holding me back anymore including my own beliefs that i have about myself my own stresses my own worries this is you releasing all of that you no longer stressing and worrying and it's just absolutely beautiful it's absolutely beautiful I do feel like there's new stuff coming in for you. I really do. Um, and you're looking for someone who's stable. You're looking for someone who's solid. I feel like your person right now is kind of like matching your energy and that they are very focused on them, their work, on their goals, on their dreams. They are a very you know, driven, very focused person. Could be an earth sign. Um, I'm seeing a lot of earth energy here. So it could be very well be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, but it's someone who's very goal-oriented, someone who's very focused, but someone who's also very grounded and solid. And, you know, sometimes as a water sign, Scorpios, we are, you know, more passionate, we are more driven by our, our emotions and our passions. And, you know, this person looks like to be a really good balance for you. This is somebody who's going to help you focus, help you with that drive, have that same drive as you do, but help you ground some a little bit with that earth energy there. It's a, quite a beautiful combination I'm seeing here. So for some of you, you could have already met this person. Um, for a lot of you, I don't believe that you have. What a great birthday present this would be. But... It's a beautiful, very earthy, very grounded energy, Scorpios. And 
that's where they are right now. They're just really focused, really thinking about the future, really wanting great things. Yeah, and in their mind, they're thinking about new beginnings. And they have also been through a lot too. I really feel like you guys, in a lot of ways, mirror each other. In that Scorpio, you guys have both been through an immense amount of stuff. So here you are in your heart, releasing all the things that's held you back from the past, not no longer bringing any of that into your future, wanting a connection that's free of that, feeling amazing and really rising to the occasion. You are just the phoenix out of the ashes. And this is your person in the same position, the Ten of Wands in the reverse. This is them releasing all of their burdens, all of the things that they've been through, all of their baggage. This is them no longer being weighed down from the hurts and resentments of their past. This person looks like somebody who's put a lot of work in on themselves as well. This Eight of Pentacles isn't just representing their external influence or their external, the, you know, the physical, the jobs, the goals. This is them focus on putting work into themselves. They wanted a new beginning for themselves that was free of all the stuff that they've been through in the past. They've gained a lot of clarity about what they want in their life. They know what they've been through and they know what they want for their future. I really like this person's energy. They're very grounded, very focused, and they've been through a lot. I feel like you guys would, you guys are really going to connect on a very deep level because you guys have the same kind of mindset. You want the same things. This is really beautiful. Yeah, you're thinking about stability. You're thinking about commitment long term. I'm tired of these relationships that just come and go. I'm tired of these people that it doesn't, it just doesn't work with, that hurt me, that leave. I want my forever person. I want stability. I want, I want commitment. I want long term. And they have that same clarity. They know exactly what they've been through. They know that they don't want to repeat any of that. They know that they have to work on themselves to have a different outcome. They know that they have to release all that stuff from their past to be healed, whole, and healthy, just like you are, Scorpio. And I feel like your action is you're going to keep really pushing forward in every area of your life, in your goals, in your dreams. You're going for this stability, for this commitment. You're reaching for crushing all these dreams you're taking chances leaps of faith lefts and rights like this is your time to shine this is all you scorpio scorpio season is going to be amazing for you and i feel like it really will be with the planetary influences all the way through the end of the year things are just going to really uplift you i feel like you are going to just keep crushing it and this person their action is the three of pentacles more earth energy but this is this is one of my favorite cards for relationships because this is being on the same page being in sync with somebody wanting the same things this is really being beautiful partners working on things together building a solid foundation we go right to the three to the four so to the four is foundations it's you know solidity and that's what you guys are reaching towards i love this your mutual energy, the Knight of Pentacles. This is going to be, you know, long-term stable commitment. And this is what you guys both want. This is where you're both at. I do think that it's not going to be very quick. So if, guys, if you, some of you, you know, it is will resonate differently for everybody. Some of you could have met this person. But for the majority of you, I feel like late November. Um... It's the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So I do feel like this is not a fast-moving energy. This is not coming in hot, you know. Um, but it is going to be worth it. Like, it is going to be worth the wait. That's what I'm hearing. Worth the wait. It's going to be worth every second that you waited. It's going to be more than this. is somebody that you're going to really vibe with. Somebody that's really on the same page as you, Scorpio. Somebody who wants the same things. Somebody who understands your pain, what you've been through. I just, I'm so in love with this, like, this connection. This is, this is like your person, Scorpio. This is your person, the person you were meant to be with. And I'm feeling like when you're with this person, you're going to understand. The minute that you meet this person, you're going to understand why it didn't work out with anybody else. You're going to understand every little thing that got you to the point of meeting this person. You're going to know exactly why everything happened the way that it did. 
And not only are you going to understand why it happened, you're going to be grateful. It, you're going to be so grateful that it happened. You're going to look back at every painful breakup, every hurt, the one that, that hurt you and started this whole ball rolling for your transformation now. You're going to be grateful that they left. You're going to be so happy that they did because you're going to be like, look at me now. Look at how happy I am now. Look at this love I have now. And I would never have had that if I stayed with whatever, you know, if I would have been where I was before. So you're not only going to have all that clarity, all the answers, things that were missing before, things that were unclear before, they're all becoming clear now. When you meet this person, you're going to understand why everything happened the way that it did. All right, let's see what messages I have for you. We pulled some Archangel Romance cards. We have playfulness to recapture romance. A lot romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. It is Scorpio season. Be fun. Be playful. Be lighthearted. That's part of this releasing process of releasing these heavy burdens, releasing these things, like these stressors. Have some fun, Scorpio. Spirit is saying, go out, have fun, be lighthearted, be playful. And to go right with that, we have flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. I'm also hearing that you guys have to put yourselves out there. You will not meet somebody being holed up at your house. You will not meet somebody, you know, if you don't talk to anybody, you gotta get yourself on that Facebook dating app, get yourself on that Tinder, or, you know, go out, have friends set you up with people they know. You gotta, you gotta be, you know, brave and put yourself out there. Cause that's not a message for everybody. My Scorpios are very brave creatures. This is just for those ones that have been in that hermit mode, working on their self healing, doing it kind of in private. Cause we can do that sometimes. You know, this is like okay, spirit saying there's someone coming in and they're worth it. Be fun, be flirty, put yourself back out there. And honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So like I said, I am really feeling that it's going to be later for some of you guys. It could definitely be around Thanksgiving. It could definitely be, you know, even moving into December. But I really feel like it's more towards the end of November. Guys, but this is saying be present in the moment. Enjoy the time together. It's being present in the moment. When you meet this person, it is going to be an intense connection. This is saying keep it fun. Keep it flirty. Keep it lighthearted. Don't worry about... Is this going to happen like it has happened in the past? Don't be, don't worry about what's happened in the past. Don't worry about what could happen in the future. Just stay present in the moment. Enjoy the time that you have with them because that's how you guys are really going to connect. That's how you're really going to strengthen that bond is by being present, not by living in the past or worrying about the future. So that's the message I'm really getting really strongly with those cards for you, Scorpio. And we are going to pull you a couple Moonology cards now. Archangels, guides, spirits, and ancestors. What messages do we have for my beautiful Scorpios? For the month of November, please. What messages do we have for my beautiful Scorpios for the month of November? Let's see what's who popped out for you. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. So we do have a full moon coming up on the 31st. I believe that is tomorrow. Um, as well as we have an eclipse in November too. So guys, what I'm really feeling for this is like we just talked about, all the conclusions are within reach. I feel like your last connection left you wondering a lot, but you left you wondering about yourself, wondering about them, wondering about the whole connection. And like I said, I really feel like when you meet this person, everything is going to become so clear to you. And I really feel like that's the confirmation of this card. All of the conclusions are within reach. You will understand soon. Everything is going to become so clear to you soon. And a time for heal, healing, balsamic moon. Yes, you guys have been through a lot. And I feel like now you're in that, that time where you're really releasing all of the stuff that you've been through. You're doing a huge healing time. So pray, ask your archangels, ask your guides, your ancestors to be with you, to help you to continue to heal, to help you with this process. And now we are going to take the Angel Oracle deck and ask the Archangels that are watching over you the most through the month of November what messages they have for you. Ooh, well, those flew out before I could even pray. Let's see. Counselor, Archangel Ezreal, you are, you are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. So I'm getting a couple messages from this. First off, 
is you guys are Scorpios are people always want to come talk to a Scorpio because we are trustworthy we are great listeners you know we will keep your secrets and we give great advice so everyone wants to go confide in a Scorpio but and you know we have a hard time with that sometimes because Scorpios can be very private they can be a little bit distrusting they have a hard time if you notice in the picture the angel is sitting there there's a beautiful guiding light right behind him and I'm really feeling like Scorpios even like when we go through the healing process that can be hurtful that can be messy when we start new things it can be scary it can bring up all these feelings within ourselves if there isn't a person that you have that you feel comfortable enough you know opening up to or letting that wall down a little bit so you can talk to the angels are saying that they are always there that you can sit there in your car by yourself and pray to them and just let it all out to them you can word vomit to them let them take some of the burdens let them help you with this healing process like the words that i'm getting the message i'm getting the strongest from this is you're not alone you don't have to do any of this alone i i just i really love that for you remember who you are archangel michael you are a powerful loving and creative child of god you are very loved like i said guys right now i feel like you this is your time to shine it really is the fool the star this is the time that you're making all of your dreams come true you absolutely can if you guys have like been thinking of starting anything new a business a side hustle of something that chases your dreams you go you want to start painting you want to start singing you want to start a youtube channel astrologically this is the time in the cards this is the time this is your time scorpio this is your time i just i'm so in love with this reading for you guys and i feel like this is this is what it's saying remember who you are remember what you've been through remember what you've overcome you are the phoenix you know in astral in astrology scorpios used to be the phoenix they used to not be the scorpion they used to be represented by the phoenix because that's what that's what it is it's that death and rebirth process that's why scorpio's representation in the tarot is the death card because it is that death and rebirth that transformation that comes from the death of the old self into the death of the new self and i really feel like this is that time for you you have let all of that old self die and you are being reborn and you are being you are shining it is your time to shine spirit saying remember who you are the angels are saying remember that you are loved remember that you are powerful and remember that you got this like they are heavily with you at this time archangel michael he brings truth he brings clarity talk to him if you need some if you need someone to be there for you archangel Ezreal, they're saying they will help you with this they will be there for you all right guys i really love this reading for you i love that you're showing up so strong and so powerful and so independent and i love that there's a connection coming in for you it's what you've been it's what you deserve scorpio this connection is exactly what you deserve you've been through so much that this is that connection that made it all worth it this is that connection that you've been waiting for this is the connection that's meant for you and i'm just so excited for you guys all right if you guys need personal prayers for any reason put the little prayer emoji in the comments below and i will pray for you personally i'm sending you guys so much love and light happy birthday my beautiful scorpios if this resonates let me know in the comments down below and if it doesn't please check out your other sign placements till next time bye